Today we're going to talk about this artwork that we have at the McNider Museum entitled Edmund. It is by Robert Longo. Robert Longo was born in New York in 1953. He uh, graduated and went to uh, college at College of um, North Texas in Denton, um, but he left before pursuing and finishing his degree. He then went and studied art in Italy, and while working on art restoration, actually decided that doing the art, actual experiencing it and creating it was more of what he wanted to do rather than the restoration. And so upon returning back to New York State uh, received his degree from University um, in Buffalo. Uh, Robert Longo was perhaps best known for his series entitled um, Men at Work in the City, and this is one of the examples from that collection. So when we look at this work that he did as part of the series, what he had done was he hired a group of his friends to come and pose on the rooftops in New York City wearing um, suits and business clothes. And then urban legend has it that after taking a few normal photographs, um, what he would do is he would throw objects at the unsuspecting uh, models and he would photograph their reaction. And upon uh, developing the photos, he would then enlarge them, blow them up uh, using a projector, and sketch them out. Because what he had found at this point was that drawing was actually his, his real passion. Um, I'm sure if that is a true uh, depiction of what occurred in and how these poses came to be. But what we're talking about this week is movement in art and action drawings. You can see here, what we normally ask people who come to the museum is what do you think is going on? Um, and without knowing that story, we think, oh, he possibly just has back pain or he stepped wrong or something like that. We see the expression on the face, we see him pointing in the air, um, all these indications that he's in pain. His back is arched, he's on his tiptoes, um, and so it's an entire package of movement and motion. And so as you're drawing your examples uh, for the museum this week, I hope you when you include action, it's not just legs moving, or it's not just arms moving, but it's the whole body depicting action, as it is with Robert Longo. 